Hi there, you are watching Indie Nuggets and today we are making a color cycler component in Unity. This component can gradually cycle the camera's background color and you can also give an array of colors and then call a public method to cycle these colors. But to keep this component flexible, we will not add any timer in it. We will use a separate timer component to trigger the color change. If you want to know how we made this timer component, please check the last episode. The key point in changing colors gradually is to use color.lerp, which works just like the vector lerp. It gives you a color between two colors. First thing we need is a color cycler script on the camera. Let's start by creating a public array of colors and we will create a public method called cycle color, which will be the entry point for other scripts. When someone calls this method, we can maybe start some coroutine and we'll also need to keep track of the active color. So let's create a current index variable and also a variable to keep track of the camera. Inside the start, we will cache the camera component and also set the camera's background color to the first color in our array. To keep things clean, let's also create a public method to set the background color, which takes in the color parameter. We can now use this method to set the color. And just to be safe, we also set the current index to be zero at the beginning. Okay, let's start writing the lerp color coroutine. I'll also stop all the running coroutines in the cycle method just in case. We will obviously need some variables for the start color and the end color, so define those. And then create a color variable which is just a color lerp between the start and end colors. And I'll use the set color method to change the color. But I'm also thinking that there should be some kind of boolean to check if we actually need to change the colors or not. And now we probably won't even need a coroutine, we can just change this to the update method. The cycle color method is simpler now, it just sets the should change boolean to true. I'll define the variable above. The lerp also needs a time value so we'll use the delta time for now and maybe change the variable name to new color. And in order to stop this loop we will add a check to see if the new color is the same as end color. Then we just stop by setting the should change to false and also increment the current index. And there's also a possibility to go out of the bounds of the array so we'll add a check to make sure that the current index is always within the bounds. And I think for the start color we could just use the camera's background color. As for the end color we can set it to the first color if we cross the array's length. Else we set it to the next color. And if we clean the variables up we will not even need this if else statement. One more thing is that we need to do the same check inside the loop and increment the current index only if it stays within the bound otherwise we reset it to zero. Now temporarily I'll make this boolean public so we can test it in the inspector. I'll add some random colors and hit play. And you can see that when I check the should change variable, the color changes. I'm thinking we should also have some speed variable to control the lerp speed and just multiply that to the delta time. And it works fine now. And now just clean up the method names a bit, make the boolean private. Now to make testing easier, let's also make an editor script for this component. I'll create a new script called color cycler editor move both of my scripts to a separate folder and the editor script must be placed inside a folder called editor so create that and this script will be a very simple editor for our color cycler class i'm adding a button called cycle and then just get the color cycler component as target and call the public method called cycle that we just created now when we hit play we can see the cycle button and if we click it the color changes so this component is ready now, all we need is some script to call this public method. At this point I'll use the timer component that we created last time and just change some variables and drag the same object and select color cycler cycle method. This means that every 5 seconds the timer will trigger the cycle method causing our colors to gradually change. That's it guys, use this script in your projects if you like, I'll share the links below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time, cheers.